Hello folks, Jason Chrisman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. Look what I got yesterday. This is the Apame 7 frame nuke. And today we're going to break it down. I'm going to show you what this hive is made of and all the different options you got with it. So let's dive right in. Let's start with the entrances. First of all, you've got these dials that you can adjust either for ventilation or you can use them as an entrance. And the cool thing about this setup is got the same dials on the back. You've got full access. You've got an area with just ventilation. No bees can escape. And you've got a slot, which is a queen excluder. So each one of those dials has that option. And I think that is just awesome. Then down here at the very bottom on the front, we have these we can use for entrances. And you can see we can reduce or allow as much room as we need for our colonies to get in. Now what's cool about this, compared to the other Apame colonies I have in the background here, is these actually work opposite of those. You see how the entrances are open on the outside edge of each colony? Well, let's move back here for a second. On this Apame colony, it's the opposite. The entrances are towards the center of the hive, and these open to the outside. So the reason these are set up this way, I will explain in a minute when we get to the division board inside the colony. I'm trying to work fast here. We got rain coming. Um, of course, just like any Apame colony, you've got the latches and the handholds on each side of the box. Makes it very nice to be able to pick up the whole colony and carry it away. Now, one thing that's really neat about just this setup without even opening it, you've got the lid latched down. It can't come off. You've got handholds to carry it. Now, let's say we use this as a swarm trap. Now all we have to do that our swarm has moved in, we close all these off, put these on ventilation. Now the bees are trapped in the box. We can safely stick this in our car and transport it to our bee yard. Pretty cool. Now let's open it up. We got Ladybug here. She's, she's supervising this morning. Got rain coming, huh, Ladybug? They better be quick. So, first thing we got here is the Abame insulated lid with ventilation. You can see the ventilation here. It's on both ends. Very solid piece of equipment. We come down a little further, we've got their manual. And I'm going to say it, I've said this before with the Ergo kit that I just showed you. Um, their manuals are far exceed any beekeeping manual that I've got with any equipment. Full color, very well explained on each and every part. Okay, so now we have the top hive feeders and the inner covers. They are both. They act as the inner cover and the feeders. So even if you're not feeding, these would stay on the colony. If you were to leave these off the colony and put the outer lid on, the bees are probably gonna glue it down and it's gonna be a nightmare to get into your colony. So make sure you leave these on even when you're not feeding. Now the great thing about these is, is there is zero drowning if these are used appropriately. Now when I say used appropriately, it's all determined by this clear piece of plastic right here. If we look at it, you're gonna notice that one side has a longer wall on it. And that's gonna be this side over here. You can see how much further down it comes than this side over here. Um, this longer side is for feeding SERP and it must go in this direction. See, we've got the longer side. It must go towards you in order to feed SERP. And what that does is it restricts the bees from getting out and into this area. Now, if you flip this around and put the shorter side towards you, now the bees can come out from underneath of here and into this area. And this would be used for feeding candy, uh, maybe a pollen patty, dry sugar, something like that during the winter maybe. Um, but feeding SERP, you would definitely wanna make sure that this is flipped around or you could come back to check your bees and find a whole bunch of drowned bees in here. But anyway, I do know now, since my video last week, and all of my great followers, that the feeders 
when you're inspecting, sit down in the top cover. You just flip the top cover over and the feeder set down in there just like so. Now, the advantage to that is, is usually when you remove these from a colony, you're gonna have bees on the bottom. So you wouldn't wanna set it down on an area that's flat and squish your bees. Okay, so this division board is included in the kit and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. You'll also get seven of the Apame Pro Frames, which look something like this. And um, if you're not familiar with these frames, they're very, very easy to install foundation in. You simply take a hive tool, go around the frame in the middle, and split it apart. It's a two-piece setup. Lay your foundation in there, and then you just literally snap it back together all the way around. I actually recently made a video on installing foundation in these frames, and I'll link it up in the corner in case you're interested in seeing that. So you can see we've got seven frames here. Now let's remove these seven frames and look at the bottom board. You're very patient. Here is your bottom board, completely vented. Now, if we flip it around to the back of the box, it's actually got a removable sticky board. You could put Vaseline on here. You could put diatomaceous earth. Um, there's several different things beekeepers use to help uh, with pest management. Now by sticking Vaseline on here, any Varroa mites or small hive beetle larvae that land on here are gonna be stuck. They're not gonna be able to make it back up into the colony. Um, so they'll fall down through here through this vented bottom onto the tray and be stuck. So very handy um, device to have with any colony really. We'll stick it back in and it simply slides right in. And I do want to mention the seven frame Apame colony does not have a pollen trap. So there is no little red stopper to stick in back here. You've simply just got the removable tray. Okay, so on the inside of the box, you might be able to see these three different grooves and they're on the front of the box and the back of the box. So both sides have them. And what those are for is for the divider that comes with the kit. Now this is the same divider that's in the Ergo Brood box. So if you have two of these, um, then you could use both of them with this box. So on this division board, you can see that there is three adjustable vents and each one has exactly the same settings. So you can see we've got Restricted, no access. We've got ventilation and we've got queen excluder. So to start off, let's say we close this all the way on all of them. Okay, so now it's just simply a divider. We stick it in the middle and then we take and go to our bee yard and we remove a couple frames of brood. Let's say one of these frames is capped brood. The other is open brood. And we'll do the same thing on this side, okay? And then we're also gonna give each colony a frame of honey, maybe with a little bit of pollen on the frame. And now what we've done is we've successfully made two walkaway splits. And they both have their own entrance here on the front. And that's why these open the way they do. You see, if they opened more into the center, if I was to move these over this way and the entrances were here, then you might have bees drifting from one side to the other. So by putting them on the outer edge of the box, there is less confusion on which side they are supposed to go in. So that's very smart on Apame's um, part. You could also close this off Use this one on this side and maybe on the back On the one you've got closed on the front you could use this as an entrance So now you've got one colony coming in the front and one colony coming in the back which greatly reduces dr drifting by doing it that way So like I mentioned we've now got the stuff here the resources for the bees to raise um, a couple splits and to raise a couple queens. Each side will have its own queen. 
hopefully um, walk away splits aren't 100 percent successful so um, if you would do it this way you would definitely want to be um, frequently inspecting to make sure that the bees are drawing out queen cells um, and then if not you're going to want to order a queen um, so maybe that's the way you want to go maybe you want to put three frames in each side with some bees on them and a little bit of brood cat brood and then you want to buy two mated queens you're going to throw one in this side and one in this side and then after they uh, get these frames drawn out maybe you want to buy the apame seven frame um, super and another ergo super divider and then what you can do is you can split your super in half and now they're six frame colony they're three over three and um, apame was actually telling me um, I think it was a person in Kentucky overwintered a three over three colony that way and I thought that was rather interesting and a unique way to use the box. Um, another thing you could do okay so now let's say we're grafting and we want to make sure that we get exactly the right age of eggs to graft. What we can do now is we can turn each one of these to queen excluder Okay, we'll drop it down in here. Um, this is an established colony that we've moved in here with a laying queen. To make sure we get the appropriate aged eggs from the colony to graft, what we could do is we could take a frame, let's pretend this is drawn comb. It doesn't have any nectar. Um, it's all open cells. We could stick it over here. We could find our queen on our frame, dump her down on that side, okay? Now the bees can go through here to tend to the queen and help take care of any eggs she lays in that frame while she's over there. 24 hours later, you return, you remove the queen, you put her back to this side, and you let the bees tend to them eggs. Four days later, you would return and you would have exactly four day eggs in that frame. So that would be another very unique way to use this box. Um, there is numerous, numerous ways, folks, to use this configuration, um, or to use this box, I should say, not necessarily that configuration. We have the, we have the option for the divider to be here, here. So you can see, it's just, there is just so many unique opportunities with a box like this. Now... I've just this year started to use Apame, and I'm only a couple months into it. But I'll tell you, I'm impressed. I am greatly impressed with the design quality and all the time they've put into engineering. Um, here's a little simple thing that I just learned about the Apame frames. If you've seen my video last week um, on my hive inspection of the Ergo kit back here, the white Apame hive I just showed you the entrances on, um, the frames still moved around very well in the box. The bees hadn't really propolized them in, in place, and I was just amazed on how freely the frames moved inside the box. And I talked to Apame the other day on the phone, and um, they were telling me that the, the bees will eventually um, propolize the frames. But they said the frames will still move easier in the apame box than they would if you had a wood box with wood frames and the reason for that is and i didn't realize this until they pointed it out on this little ear here that sits on the edge of your box it's tapered you see it's thickest back here and then tapers down to where it's narrow and the reason they did that is is when it's down in the box that frame end is not making full contact so it's harder for the bees to glue these frames into place. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Um, but anyway, folks, there it is. The Apame seven frame hive. I am absolutely tickled to death to have this. And if it wasn't for the rain coming in the next few minutes, I'd probably be putting bees in it today. But that's not the case. It's starting to sprinkle and I need to get this picked up. So, if you have any questions or comments about this setup, please leave them down below. Um, I am truly impressed, folks, by the quality of the equipment made by Apame. Um, I really can't say enough about it. Um, the box is insulated. The inner or the outer cover down there is insulated. Um, it's a great setup, 
and I absolutely love it. So let's get it closed up. Now I've got to think about feeding some livestock for the rain gets here. So you all have a great day. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, I appreciate you taking some time this morning to watch this video. And uh, oh yeah, I am an affiliate for Apame. So if you're interested in trying out any of their products, um, I'm gonna leave a link down below um, for Apame. It's a referral link. Um, it won't make the products any more expensive. They just take a small cut from what you paid for the equipment and I get a little kickback. So um, if that's something you're interested in, please use the link below. Um, I think you'll be really, really happy with Apame. If you don't believe me, just go on YouTube and search Apame beehives and see if you can find anybody that's complaining. I bet you're going to have a hard time. Have a great week, folks, and we'll see you next week.